Hey guys! So today I'm going to be talking about something which I feel like I have a lot of experience in. As someone who never leaves the house, I'm going to teach you guys how to be sociable. Yeah, if you're here for any actual advice, uh, I'm sorry, please go watch someone who actually knows something about interacting with humanity. Number one, fake laughs. Now, when you're interacting with a new group of people, it's gonna be pretty common that they'll have inside jokes that they understand and you don't. Or they'll make references to TV shows or things that you just don't watch or you don't understand. And that's cool, that's fine, they have their own little jokes. But the one thing you don't want to do to be that person who sticks out as the obvious person who shouldn't be there or doesn't know what they're doing in this group of people, you need to fake laugh, okay? Pretend you know what they're talking about. And when you're in this kind of situation, it's important to respond in this kind of way. Oh my gosh, what did you think of that thing that happened in that show that's amazing? And oh my gosh, that thing that they did? Yeah, that was great, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that thing. Okay, maybe overkill, but you know what I mean. Just laugh until they think you know what they're talking about, and then maybe the conversation will move on. These are all going to be terrible pieces of advice, so just setting you up for the rest of the video. Number two, when inserting yourself into someone else's conversation, ask them what they're talking about. Because it can help you avoid so many misunderstandings. Like just walking in there, or even just awkward situations. Like I've done this so many times and oh I wish I could go back and just like stop myself, just grab myself and just take me away because it's just, it's really awkward if you just walk up to someone and they're having their perfectly normal conversation with another perfectly normal human being and you're there just like Hey Seriously, though, if you walk up to people and, for example, if there's two people already talking about something, it's gonna be really weird if you just go in there and just stand awkwardly trying to pick up what it is they're saying just from snippets of their conversation, because you will misunderstand what they're talking about and horrible things will occur. My rule of thumb is to, like, make contact with the person. So if you know one of those people, and I would assume that you know one of them if you're starting to make conversation with them, maybe? unless you like to talk to strangers, in which case I wouldn't be one to judge. So when approaching people in conversation, make contact, like physical contact, touch the person. I don't mean like assault them because they won't appreciate that and that'll make the entire thing more uncomfortable. But just like a hand on their shoulder or like bump into their arm or something so they know you're there and ask them, hey guys, what is it you're talking about? What you saying about? What are you talking about? Probably not like that because again, they'll look at you weirdly. Number three, don't assume anything about what they tell you. Don't interpret what they say until you have actual understanding of what it is they've said. And the reason I say this one is because there was a guy down a little while ago from uh, somewhere in America, I don't know. More Americans, yay! I seem to only interact with people from other countries. Why don't I socialize with people of my own, let's say gender, race, people? Species? Ah. Anyway, so there was a guy who came down for a bit and uh, with the group of young adults in my church we all went over to someone's house for a bit and we were gonna hang out, play games, whatever. And upon entering the house he was introduced to a girl and... well he'd already met the guy but there was a girl and a guy but he'd only just met the girl. Now the guy he knew was a member of quite a big family and he knew that he had a sister but he didn't know who the sister was, he'd never met her. She was away doing whatever it was that she was doing at the time. So I think the introduction that he was given to this female was something along the lines of, hey, this is, insert name here, um, she's just uh, staying here for a while, but she lives somewhere else, I think? That may be, that's along the lines of what he was told anyway, I don't remember. But the assumption that he got from that was, this is their sister who is, lived somewhere else but is staying here for a while. And that wouldn't have been too bad if it weren't for the fact that the guy he met earlier and this lovely lady were actually in a relationship. So yeah. Also, the guy is from Pakistan and the girl I think was Albanian. So you can imagine how different they look as well. But under his assumption it was just, oh yes, this female is sister of these people because apparently she lives here. Number four. 
say words. I don't care if it's a mumble or like a stuttery sentence, just get out what you're trying to say. Just throw all of your words at me, it's okay. As someone who also struggles to get her words out and stutters quite a lot when I get excited about explaining something, or for example when I'm making these videos, I stutter loads, I just cut out the bits that don't see. The magic of editing. But seriously, if you're talking to someone, I would much rather have a conversation with someone who's awkward at speaking but is trying their very best to get out what they're trying to say, rather than someone who's just a potato and you end up having one of these kind of conversations. Hey, so are you excited about going to that place next week? It's gonna be really awesome, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so have you already planned what you're wearing for it then? Yeah. Like, it's okay, I feel your pain. I know how awkward it is to have a conversation with someone and you just don't have the words. But seriously though, if you're ever in the kind of conversation where you're talking to someone and they just look exasperated by your entire existence in their presence at that moment, then just don't talk to them. They're not the kind of person that you should be talking to if they're just going to look at you like that. And on the other end of things, if you're someone who does get out their words properly and is able to just talk and talk and talk and that's okay too because I wish I was like that. I wish I could just talk and talk and talk and sometimes I can but sometimes I can't. And for the moment it appears like I can which is cool. But if you are one of those people that can just talk then please take pity on those who can't because I can't tell you the amount of times where I just want to crawl into a hole and die because the person that I'm trying to communicate with who I'm probably looking up to because there are so many people that I want to talk to but I just don't know how and then as soon as I do try to talk to them it's just the most awkward experience because they're like uh yes why is this peasant communicating with me away from me parasite away and it just makes you feel like crap so don't do that to people be nice be polite and patient and let them get out what they're trying to say because it's hard it's hard for people it's hard for me and others so be nice please and number five the most generic one be yourself now this is what everyone always tells you to be and i honestly completely disagree with that and hear me out because i know that immediately a lot of people are going to be like what why are you fake why don't you talk to people the same way you talk to everyone and in the words of john green i don't know who other self you would be being other than yourself that was quoted entirely wrong but that's the gist of what he said and it's so true, like, if you're not being yourself, who would you otherwise be being? Did that make any sense? I don't know. But the point is, even if you're trying to be someone else, you're still going to be trying to be them in your way. For example, on YouTube, I look up to different YouTubers, so I try to emulate their style in being able to talk and talk and being able to be funny in a nice kind of way, I guess. And I wouldn't even say that it's being fake to yourself if you're trying to improve yourself, to be like someone else for the good things that they do. Like, when people say, be yourself and no one but yourself, I think it's a bit of a narrow mind to be put on someone, as if you could never be anything better than what you are. And as someone who has been through that phase of not liking themselves very much, and wanting to be something better and improve themselves, I don't think it's the best advice to give someone to be yourself especially if yourself isn't someone that you appreciate very much. So my genuine advice to someone, and this is the only piece of actual wisdom that is going to be contained in this video, is that if you don't like yourself, make yourself someone that you want to be. Don't just settle for being that person that people see you as because that's the person that you are and you must be, and anything other than that is a fake version of you. No. Improve yourself. If you want to be funnier, work on being funnier. If you want to be more charitable, work on being more charitable, or brave, or kind, or clever and witty. If you want to be something else, work on it. And it's not you being fake to yourself, it's just you trying to be a better version of yourself. And then that will eventually become the you that you are, if that makes sense in any way. And I don't want to advocate for the whole fake it till you make it kind of thing, because I see that more as like trying to impress upon yourself everything that society wants you to be. I don't know, maybe that's my interpretation of it, but I don't see that as like a healthy form of self-improvement. If you genuinely have an aspect of yourself that you're trying to improve, go for it. Just go for it, and I'm sure people will support you. Because hey, that's what friends are for. And if they don't support you in it, screw them. Get better friends. I'll be your friend. 
Anyway, that's all the advice I have for this video, so I hope you just watch this for the comedy aspect of it, because I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yay! And with that, I'll see you later. Oh my gosh, this thing was amazing! I love that thing! Did you go to that place with that thing? Mm-hmm. Oh yes, I did do that thing. I know the thing. I am a functional human being. <laughs> My interpretation of humans. <laughs>